In Chicago, Cubs fan Steven Joseph is speaking to his wife in Vegas and trying to explain why he's going to be hours late home from the game. Somebody supposedly came to me, and the fight says, he no, I don't. But no, this, this, is a, a, this is garbage. Steven has missed his plane by minutes, and he thinks the airline is to blame. I wouldn't get out of here till 7.30, which is two hours plus from now. There's no refund available, right? I'll be happy to refund it if you like. You want to travel on another carrier, that's up to you. It's only a two hour delay. I'm supposed to be there by eight o'clock. I'm sorry, sir, we made several announcements. You're the only one who did not answer okay, the call. I don't understand. I am standing right there. Okay. You talk, look at that lady looking at me. Mr. She Joseph? stood next to me from five o'clock on. Sir, we made every effort to locate you. I don't know why you didn't hear the overhead pages. And we did make an effort to get you on that aircraft before that jetway was pulled back. Mr. Joseph, you're the only one who did not respond to the overhead well, where pages. Where was the guy collecting the tickets? Right at the door, sir, where everybody else he's was. He's standing there at 5 o'clock, and I'm missing it, right? Yes, sir. And he's paging me, and yes, I'm missing Yes, sir. We made several overhead pages for the, for the flight. Colleen needs a decision from Stephen soon. Mr. Joseph, would you like to just think about what you want to do and call back and rebook? I can document your record and ask them to rebook you. You can think about it. You can do that if you like. Angelica seems to suspect that Stephen's fast food may be the reason he's going to be slow getting home. Maybe it's a possibility you were at McDonald's when they were making the announcements when they well, were boarding. Well, that possibility exists. That's why I talked to the lady. I said, I did call out boarding information yet, and she said no. She said she paged me numerous times. I don't buy that, because I'm standing right here. Truthfully, I've got hot McDonald's here. If I am I'm breaking my neck to get here, to get on this flight, just let's use a common sense approach. If you think I'm gonna leave the line five minutes before departure and go stand in that McDonald's Family line, which is a bit long, or McFlurry, it doesn't add up. His flight was at 5.15. He did stop for that McFlurry and claims he was at the gate at 5 o'clock. And, and unfortunately, he, that, that just isn't the case because he didn't make it through security from the gate and all the way to the gate, stopping for that McFlurry in six minutes. That just didn't happen. And I'm sorry, but Mr. Joseph just wasn't here. Looks like he can't blame the airline for missing his plane, but Stephen's still not satisfied with the explanation. You got an assigned number of seats and assigned number of people on the plane, right? Uh -huh. What's the issue with actually giving a seat number? I was always curious about that. It makes our boarding as expeditious as possible. We don't we don't spend a lot of time trying to seat people. The open boarding allows us to keep our aircraft moving throughout the system. That moves so we're, faster than people that know exactly where they're going. Correct. Mm -hmm. You're telling me as people get in line, you know, they have to think about where they want to sit rather than knowing exactly where they're going. This moves faster. Mr. Joseph, you're all set. You're in the A boarding group on this one, and it's at B9, which is right down the hall. Okay. Okay. Board. 7.35, it's going to board about 20 minutes of departure. What time does it leave? 7.35. So how does it board at 7.35? I said it's going to board about 20 minutes of departure. Oh, so 20 minutes. Okay. So basically 7.15. Be there. Okay. All right. Got Good luck to you.